Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So we are on day four of my unofficial 13 nights of Halloween, and today we're gonna to be talking about Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Now, Invasion of the Body Snatchers is rated PG. It is an hour and 20 minutes long. It is considered a sci-fi horror. It came out in 1956 and it was directed by Don Siegel. And we do follow Miles, who's actually the local physician of this make-believe town, Santa Maria, California. And he actually gets pulled out of a convention when some mysterious kind of things were happening around the town. Funny thing is that we never officially really see like an actual alien we just see the forms that the aliens are taking now, for everybody who is watching this video who loves this movie please don't hate me please don't dislike this video when i'm when you hear what i'm about to say so far unfortunately this is probably my least favorite um classic horror movie that i've seen it did take me a while to actually get into it and really just kind of it never really i feel officially pulled me in i guess is what i'm trying to say um also the movie is in black and white it is my first black and white movie that i'm watching within this series not my first black and white movie ever like i've seen other black and white movies i don't mind it being black and white to be honest with you i don't feel like that actually affected it in any shape way or form i really wanted to you know let you guys know in case you know you are curious and watching this movie and you may be shocked and you know once you saw that poster all colorful that the movie itself is in black and white i'm not getting it is an hour and 20 minutes long so it is a very short movie but i feel like it kind of lingered a little bit too long for me because again i couldn't really get into it now one of the things that i feel like really affected the movie for me is that i i had so many questions which the main one is how did this alien pods know who to take form from i know they would bring the pod to like the house or the car or the office or whatever and sleep is actually a main thing here suddenly while you're asleep They'll absorb your minds, your memories. They never fully went into detail on, you know, how it is that this happened, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, there was just like no like DNA or no photo. There was nothing that was put within the pod version of it. So that was like one of my main things about the movie that I just, I couldn't get past. We do start off the movie with Miles, you know, making it to this other town. Listen to me, please listen. If you don't, if you won't, if you fail to understand, then the same incredible terror that's menacing me will strike at you! So we are listening to his story of what happened within the last week to where we get to where he currently is now. Um, now one thing like in my last review, we do get that really abrupt kind of ending, which again kind of leaves me with more questions on what happens afterward. So I don't know, I don't know if there's a sequel to this. If there is, if you've seen it, let me know down below. I know that there's a newer um, movie of these so maybe in that one we do get more maybe in that one we get explanation on how it is that they do it because I mean I know that there is like a remake but I don't know if there's a sequel to this one not only do we follow Miles but we also follow his ex-girlfriend uh, Becky who is played by the very beautiful Dana White and oh my god when I when she made her first appearance on this screen I just went wow she is gorgeous like i'm just gonna put a photo up here i just immediately had a girl crush on her and she does great i mean these two leads honestly do a really really good job within the movie even the supporting cast is really good now once we do see the pods kind of opening up uh i'm not getting if you guys are new you guys just know i kind of go all over the place with my stuff it's kind of who i am i have no structure but we really never saw like a lot of these aliens really doing alien things like i would have wanted more and overall it was a pretty interesting movie um out of the movies that i currently have been watching for this series this is the only one so far that i really don't see myself re-watching with that said unfortunately i am only giving it a small popcorn rating again it just wasn't for me but if you have seen invasion of the body snatchers let me know down below what did you guys think about it did you like it did you, love it? Did you hate it was it just not for you have you seen the 1978 remake which one do you like better do you still like the classic one just let me know down below what you guys enjoyed about the movie the best i would love to hear your thoughts on 
on why this is one of your favorite classic horror movies or just one of your favorite just overall maybe alien movies uh let's just not be nasty down there below let's just keep it nice and friendly so with that said before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye